How many of you say, I'm glad I came for this prayer week? Can we clap to Jesus? Praise the Lord. Yesterday I told you that what we try to do is to give us different shades of what God is doing through people. So we get you to listen to people who are guests. We also let you listen to the people that you know that God is using at this time. But the other thing we do, we decided to have periodical seasons of prayer and fasting. So we try to have this season every after two months we want to do it again. Every after two months we want to do it again. We do not want to become cold. We don't want to get cold. Praise be to God. So we will keep doing this. So people who have not learned, they start learning to do this. Praise the Lord. Can you all shout this statement that he is doing a new thing. One more time. He is doing a new thing. Let's do it in Luganda too. Hallelujah. Do we have someone who knows Swahili? Yes, sister is going to help us. Are you from Kenya? No. You're from here, but you know these things. <laughs> what should I say? He's doing a new thing. Oh, the Lord is doing a new thing. Okay. And I say, Sister, to mukubire ko mungalo. Mungu anafanya kitu mupia. Is it mupia or kipia? All right. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for our sister. Okay. How do we say this thing in Urunyankore Ruchiga? In a chigawe. Mukama Arikukora Echin to Chisia. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let's do it together. Mukama Arikukora Echin to Chisia. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for Pastor Hubbard. Okay, uh, I would like us to say this in Runyarwanda. A war. Grace, so what do you have to there. Yes, thank you. Hello. Imana Irakora Ibishasha. Ah. Wow. You know, I love this language. It is so musical, so poetic. Imana. <laughs> Irakora, Ibishasha. A hand clap. Glory. We want to say this in Luteso. Or Luteso, Muluteso. Professor. Eh? Aha, Sister Net. Give Sister Net a mic. Uh huh. My good. Sister Alet is speaking in tongues. Okay, now share one word at a time. Uh huh. Elosi edeke. Elosi edeke. Uh huh. Asom ibore en. Asom ibore eni tetet. Eni tetet. 
Ay, 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 ay. Wow. Okay, so want to do this in a choli or a lure? Olangi, the, the, those three languages are together. They, they are very similar. Okay, so who, who, is the, who is the courageous one now? Who is putting up their hand? Yes, our sister here. Okay. Yes, sister. First, I'm married in Tororo. I'm in Teso, but I'm going to say it in Japa Ah, Pastor Kumu. Jap. Do it in Jap. Wele, Timo, Gikpiny Manyin. Amen. Wele, Timo, Timo, Gikpiny Manyin. In ping, geek ping, in ping, man yin. Aha. Ne mungkubi de komungalo mfubie. Glory be to God. Pastor kum. All right. Remix. Okay, give us the shorter one. Were, were, Timo, Timo, Gimanyin. Okay, that's that's shorter. Gimanyen. Were Gimanyen. 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 Were Timo. Were Timo. Gimanyen. I o gima. G G G. G. Yeah. Gimanyen. Yes. Ah. Eh. Obu galo, obu galo, obu galo, wa yes. Do you feel that there is joy in the house? Can we clap to Jesus? Okay. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43, starting with verse 14, down to verse 19, we get where this, uh, this theme that we've had this week comes from. Now, since we're a great class, we're going to say these statements together. They are up there. Okay, one, two, three. This. Yeah. For your sake, and bring down the fugitives, all the Babylonians, in ships which they took pride. Okay, good. Let's go on, sir. Extinguished, snuffed out. Eighteen. Forget the former things. Nineteen. I'm doing a new thing. Amen. Can we clap for ourselves? This is a beautiful passage. This is what the Lord is saying. And then he starts describing himself. He's your redeemer. And is the holy one of Israel. He describes himself. He is your redeemer. And is the holy one of Israel. And then he says something very interesting. For your sake. Can you look at your neighbor and point at him and say, For your sake. 
Katonda. Tell two people your breakthrough is on the way. Gamba babiri okubatora kwa kujja. Your breakthrough is on the way. Okubatora kwa kujja. He's about to orchestrate a divine breakthrough. Ana tero kuleto okubatora kwa ba Katonda. Your prayer times are going to be rewarded. Ebi sera bi ebi okusaba bi tero kufuna impera ya bi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Gamba kare ruya. I said somebody shout hallelujah. Gamba kare ruya. I was preaching in Birmingham. About 17 years ago. And they sent me a message. That the government of Uganda is after us. We were on the front page of the new vision. The case was a Nema case. I, I knew we were finished. And so I sent a message back home. I said, cancel out every program. We are going to pray every evening. That year we prayed for one year. That year we fasted for one year. As I'm talking to you, we have a NEMA certificate. We have a permanent building. Everything that looked impossible. In heaven, there's a God who answers prayer. Your prayers will be rewarded. You can never pray in vain. Somebody here. You are about to give birth to Samuel. Because Samuel means I asked him from the Lord. You are going to have a Samuel in your family. You are going to have a Samuel in your finances. You are going to have a Samuel in your ministry. Jeremiah 33. And verse 3. He says, call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that thou do not know. I'm about to find what I don't know. All I need to do is to keep on praying. I'm about to see what I don't know. All I need to keep on doing is to keep on praying. I'm about about to stand where I don't know. All I need to keep on doing is to keep on praying. I'm about to touch what I don't know. All I need to keep on doing is to keep on praying. Call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest me. Let me give you one minute. Raise your hands to heaven. And pray in tongues. Pray at the top of your voice. An unction of prayer is coming to us. An unction of prayer is coming to us. Fresh fire on our altars. We are sharpening one another. We are encouraging one another. Pray loud enough for your neighbor. Pray loud enough for your neighbor. In the realm of the spirit, you can never survive alone. You need other people praying in the realm of the spirit so that you may keep on praying. Pray loud enough that you may stir up one another. Let prayer arise. Let personal prayer arise. Let individual prayer arise. They are going to pray for the next 10 years. They are going to pray for the next 20 years. They are going to pray for the next 30 years. Lord, I pray 
every altar that was quenched let the fires be rekindled 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 they will be consistent even if it's 20 minutes even if it's 30 minutes even if it's one hour even if it's five minutes they will be consistent let prayer arise let prayer arise I feel it, I feel it, I feel it I feel it, I feel it, I feel it a mighty fire is coming over you it's coming into your bosom it's coming into your spirit you will rise up you will run and not be weary 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 you will run command you to soar. Climb up on eagle's wings. Beginning tonight, I command you to soar. Climb up on eagle's wings. Climb up into greater heights. Ascend where you have never been before. Ascend in your prayer life. I release an ascension. I release a soaring. May your prayers begin to soar in the name of Jesus. Raise your hands, everybody. Lord, I take my stand on this platform under the unction of delegated authority. I'm legitimate until here. I have a place in this house. The angel of this house has given me permission. I come against every distraction, every disturbance in the area of your prayer. I rebuke every inconvenience even if it's poverty even if it's lack whatever robs you of your prayer time I rebuke disorder in your family I rebuke disorder in your marriage I command the storm to cease every chronic illness that has been in your family robbing you of your time of prayer I break its power I break its power anything that deters you from being the praying woman from being the praying man any moral weakness I render it powerless in the name of Jesus. Raise your hands. In a discomforting living. And inconvenience because of your poor circumstances. I command that to change. I command your warfare to change. That you live in a good house. That you live in a cleaner house. That you live in a house where nobody is complaining that you are praying. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
I secure your accommodation. I command you to move into a spacious place. Raise your hands. Whatever was destructive, whatever was a deterrence, whatever was a roadblock, not for them not to pray, I break it asunder in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare the wings are unclipped. The wings are unclipped. Now they are going to fly. Now they are going to fly. They are going to soar on eagles. Wing. I want to give you half a minute. Clap your hands to Jesus. And receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Come on, clap hard. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru, obu galona kaluru. Rima sakara mama mama shoto. Obu galona kaluru, obu galona. What did it mean to dwell on the past? I was trying to find out. Chichiche chitegeza okuta murira mubiye mabega. Now let me give you a few words here. Kamba wewe bika me bitono. Or a few phrases. Or maybe bintu bizo kunyonyole chigambo chino. To dwell in the past is to brood over. Kwekutula no wamba atira. Uh -huh. Do you know how cooked chickens do? Brooding over. Spend time thinking about. And you start meditating on your failures, on whatever you fail to do. You start thinking about all the things that your, your stepmom did to you. And you are dwelling on the past. On the comments that your teacher made when you were in P3. I don't even know what abacus is, but... Spending time thinking over. 
being preoccupied. Your mind is harassed no, by dwelling nika. on the things you suffered or what happened to you. Being obsessed by the past. No, Keeping talking about all those things. You're talking and talking. You're actually doing what I would call negative prophecy about yourself. Tell your neighbor enough is enough of the past. I am going. To move on. Do not dwell on the past. Are we ready to hear? Are we hearing? Are we hearing? Are we hearing? So learn from your past experiences. But don't dwell on them. Learn. But leave them behind. Praise the Lord. Live in the present. Learn to live in the present. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice in this day. This is the new year and God is about to do something beautiful. New day, new grace. Allow God to heal your past. And ask him to prepare you for that new chapter. And as I speak, I know many of you are now thinking about the past pains you went through. The person who disappointed you. The person who didn't pay your debts. The parent who didn't take you to school. The stepmother who used to talk negative about you. This is a new year. There are new graces happening. And a new chapter is happening. Start believing your prayers. Start believing that when you pray, God hears your prayers. Start believing that the promises of God are true about yourself. Start believing that all things are possible with God. Start believing that God can make a way where there is no way. Allow yourself to dream new. Allow yourself to start speaking into your heart. Into your future. I know that God has a big plan for my life. I know that my Savior lives. I know that he's going to bless the work of my hand. I know that I will not be what my parents, my stepmother told me to be. I will be what God says about me. If you are still there, say, I am. Can you say I am? So what do you need to do then? Focus on the future. Don't live in the past. Focus on the future. And the future is in the hands of God. Focus on that future. There's There's a new day coming. There will be sunshine tomorrow. And I'll be warm tomorrow. Yes, it will rain tomorrow. But I'll have an umbrella tomorrow. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're still there, say I am. And then. Verse 19. See. See. 
I'm doing a new thing. Amen. Amen. I always tell my young men who have taken long without getting married. I say, I want to lend you glasses. Because when I remove my glasses, I don't see you clearly. But when I put on my glasses, I start seeing clearly. This year, God is going to give some guys glasses. They are walking in church, but they are not seeing all the wonderful sisters we are having. I'm believing God. I'm praying about you. May God give you new glasses 2021. But sister, sing a mukubira ko mungalo wa chiri. Kale ba mama mukubira ko mungalo. Amen. Amen. People wake up every day and they go to town. And they can't see the potential in the city of Kampala. We walk to the market today. And people have got fish. I don't know where they get it from. And they put salt on that fish. I don't like the smell of that fish. But I looked. I said, I don't like that fish. But there is so much money in that fish that people are ready to put salt on that thing. And someone told me there, that is a delicacy in some places in Uganda. Friend, what are you seeing? Are you smelling or are you seeing? Katonda tatu gambia kuhunyiriza, akugambia kulaba. Don't eat the fish, sell the fish. Obato bidia, kale bitunde. Because money from fish and money from tomatoes and money from mattresses is so money may God give you glasses to see the potential all around you this year my friend after the money matters seminar. <laughs> 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 eh? Eh? Can you ask your neighbor what are you seeing? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. <laughs> What are you seeing? Behold, I'm doing a new thing. He's giving you new eyes. Can you touch your face and say, I'm getting new eyes? How we see God matters a lot. And how we see matters. What do you see around yourself? What do you see? Now when I look at Gaba, I see a mega church. Praise be to God. I see this wall falling away and we add another wall. There. I'm seeing us putting tarmac down there so that you can park your car well. Have you seen that we had a Chitogo there? The Chitogo one time we woke up and it had gone. I'm seeing a, a very powerful green compound with palm trees 
wedding receptions parties happening glory be to God that's what I'm seeing there ask your neighbor what are you seeing Amina what are you seeing can you touch your face and say today my eyes are getting a resurrection. There, there is a restoration of my lenses. Allow your physical senses to experience what is happening. Glory be to God. There are times when I walk in our community and I start seeing all the new buildings they built. It inspires to see new buildings. Have you realized that? Your dream of building increases. You start getting tired of strange floors in your house. I think I need to remove this and put some tile. Can you ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? I've always told people, if you have not seen, can you just get yourself 3,000 shillings? Go to that hotel, what is it called? Uh, speak Resort. Amen. Amen. Walk majestically. Now don't, don't walk in Rugavide there. They will not allow you there. And as you arrive, walk around. Because when you enter that gate, it's like you're in the Western world. Go into the restaurant and order soda, just a soda. Genda mu restaurant osabe soda kati watano ba mukuwe. Oh, ba mongeza. Okay. At least. Neba kuche we kulira. When you start seeing, botaniko kulaba. Your dreams rise. Ebi no tobi ebi geja. You are going to stop dreaming about to be kajio kare na lose bi kajio bi kajio bi tegeza chi. Na lose mbwange zala kakati mbwe tegeza chi. You stop dreaming strange you know, this dreams. Is, this is dogs are Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. What are you seeing? Olabachi. Mori Alabachi command. Can you imagine? Close your eyes. For God is doing a new thing. Praise be to God. Ask God for a new vision of your future. Get tired of where you are. Get tired. Get tired. Say I'm tired. Yes. I'm tired. Amen. Amen. Do you get tired? Then there's another word there. The word we want to use is the word called perceive. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? The word to perceive, this is what it means. To discern. To recognize. To become aware of. 
So it is beyond physical eyes. It is seeing with your inner eyes. You allow your inner man to sense what God is doing. And that's why we come for weeks like this for prayer and fasting. Because as you pray and pray, and pray your physical senses start becoming less and your spiritual senses are alert. And that's why we fast. Because when you start fasting, you kill your desires of the flesh. And your inner man starts growing. And as the inner man grows, your inner ears start opening up. Your inner eyes start seeing. You see beyond the natural. Inspiration happens. Discernment happens. You don't see with physical eyes. You see beyond the normal. That's why spiritual people must be the best people on the planet. We should have the best businesses. Why? We have spiritual eyes. We can discern. Glory be to God. I am so disappointed with many Ugandans. When someone starts selling tomatoes, and someone sees a line tomorrow, he says, he starts tomatoes. And then another one, tomatoes. And another one, tomatoes. And another one, tomatoes. And, one, tomatoes. and the next thing is the market of tomatoes goes. Have you seen petrol stations? There's a petrol station there. There's one there. There's one in Bunga. There's, there, there's a petrol station here, and they've just built an opposite one. And then there's another one just a few meters out. Another one, Kusoya, another petrol station. Same thing with washing bays. Washing bay, washing bay, washing bay, washing bay. When will you ever change and discern? I want you to look at your neighbor and say, you have better eyes. Because you're a spiritual man and a spiritual woman. Touch yourself and say, I'm going to do better. Hmm? Washing bay. Yes, same thing with border borders. There is a border border issue in Kampala. There are too many of them. Kati border border. Zinata kusinga bazivuka ziti demu Kampala. Can you look at your and say there is a better idea? Kati gama mnuana oinzo fune chilu uzi chila. This has been a week of fasting and prayer. Eno week eba dia kusaba na kusiba. God is unlocking your heart and your brain. Katonda gulo buongo bola. Something new is happening. Obeke chipia chokola. New ideas. Ebiro zebi pia. Tell your neighbor new ideas. Gama mnuana ebiro zebi pia. New solutions. Ebiro kuti bwa mwe bipia. Obu gado bwa yesu. Something new is happening. So ask God, open my spiritual eyes. Give me an idea that will give me a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Seeing comes when you linger and dwell in the presence of God. And if you didn't attend Pastor Kato's lessons, you are in trouble. 
But you can actually get a book from there. Praise the Lord. If we can stay in the presence. Something new is going to be birthed. Something new is going to be birthed. And I'm praying that God will do it starting from today. And when God starts giving you those ideas, when you are deep in your bed, usually for me ideas come when I wake up in the morning. And I see things. And they become so real to me. And I say, oh, you can do this, God. And I pick my journal and write these ideas. And I start sharing these ideas. And someone says, how did it come to you? Tell your neighbor there are ideas in the heavens. Heaven is rich of ideas. But may God help us to draw heavenly ideas. As children of God, time has come for us to initiate businesses that have never been there. We should lead the way glory be to God you have the Holy Spirit of God in you and he sits in you and he says linger in my presence stay there a little while I'm going to give you my ideas praise be to God but that, this is what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no heart of man has imagined, that's what God has prepared for those who love him. Do you love God? If you love God, say yes. Mukoye. Mukoye. Do you love Jesus? Yes, Omagala. Do you love Jesus? This is what he says. What no eye has seen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. What no eye has seen. Amaso agami chigata naraba. If we have 200 people tonight. There is more than 200 new ideas that God wants to give you. Business ideas, project ideas, ministry ideas. They are there. And He says, What no ear has heard. What the heart, no, no, the heart of man has imagined. Their heavenly imaginations that we download when we are in the presence of God. Heavenly imagination. Oh my goodness, you just download. And they set on your hard drive. Are you ready to download? Can you look at your neighbor and say, Are you ready to download? Worship team, you need to come here because we are going to sing one song. Because I feel there should be a download starting right now. What no heart of man? Has imagined. Worship leaders, musicians. There are songs that have never been sung. Lyrics that have never been put on paper. 
And when you are in the presence of God, God will download them to you. Hey? Ugandans, Uganda. we need some rich music. You sing one phrase for 20 minutes. Where is your spiritual imagination? This lady snatches, she sang one song and it became number one song globally, an African woman. What is that song? We sing it here. Waymaker. 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 Hallelujah! Amen. I want you to stand up. This is time to download Glory be to God. We are going to sing a song to God. And we are going to start praying. It will not be very long because of time. But what you are going to say, God... You are doing a new thing. I can't stay in the past any longer. I can't do what I've been doing forever. I know you are a God of great ideas. You are going to pray that God will do some spiritual discernment. There will be an activation of your heart and your mind. New thing is happening. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, I see something new happening in Gaba Church. I see creativity being born in this house. I see men rising out of the shadows with great ideas. Some of them are architects. God is going to do something new in your life in Jesus' 